Uh, yeah, I can see your screen. Okay. okay. So uh, what I want, like you know, uh, you may use Visual Studio or any uh, online tool. Uh, I don't have any problem. But what I want, I wanted to develop a one React component, a very simple component. Okay, where it have a a, a, a button. Okay. And uh, if you hit to that button, it will display a hitting count of uh, of that button, particularly how many times you hit to that. Uh, button it should be displayed how many times how many times you hit it should be display hitting count to that button means once we click the button it will count the numbers yeah it will it should be count the numbers exactly okay so in js we will react is it fine yeah yeah okay So can I remove all these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's up to you. I just want to have a one component with the kind of you know button. Okay. If you click to that button, it should display the hitting count. In JS video, I don't think so. React will not display. Mm. What happened? Uh, in there is a cannot use import statement outside a module. So I don't think so. In JS video, React is not working inside the function. Outside module. Mm -hmm. Can I use another uh, code sandbox? Yeah, you can. I don't have any problem.
this one hello can you hit to that button mm, okay <clears throat> yeah all right so uh, which type of you know component this is you wrote a code so which type of component this is this is a functional component this is a functional component okay uh, how many types of component there class component already two told you is there any yeah. two types only functional okay. component class component or this is a pure component but we are using in react or pure component but functional and class component we are using okay if i can want to convert that into class component uh, what kind of new changes i have to do yes we are using some uh, class extend uh, mm -hmm. counter and the react dot component inside the constructor and super and we are passing same function here on click this dot handle count here we are using this dot handle count and we are using set state this dot state means this dot state is a count and mm -hmm. uh, inside the handle count function we are creating handle count function we are set state uh, method and inside the set state method uh, we are passing uh, uh, set count method inside the handle count anything else i have to use instead of return a uh, render okay render what's the job of render function uh, render method is uh, uh, once uh, uh, once after the constructor uh, and your uh, the component is rendered so con after the constructor it will render the uh, render method inside the render method there are some jsx so inside the jsx it is just convert the javascript to the babel javascript code render function okay what is virtual dom yes virtual dom actually uh, we can say that this is the advantage of the react js so react mm -hmm. js earlier they are using a real dom so in real dom there are multiple uh, elements like a span button and an another so if you mm -hmm. want to uh, update only particular element for example like a button or we can say mm -hmm. that like a span so in real dom it will render whole the element like a mm -hmm. span button if there is a div then p tag so it will render whole means the top to bottom so it is a uh, performance decrease in react js so that time we are using in react js virtual dom we can say that virtual dom is a copy of the real dom it means uh if you uh, want to update a particular mm -hmm. element so only that element is rendered instead of the whole element so this is the uh, advantage of the react js and performance also uh, increase okay all right okay uh, let's move to other skills uh, database which database you are familiar with database database actually uh, before 3 years i was uh, working in oracle also logic so i was mm -hmm. working in oracle yeah only sometimes yeah. okay yeah. i can see you have knowledge of spring boot I Uh, knowledge uh, actually yes sir earlier in logic sir when i was working in logic sir na so in hafiz mm -hmm. project that is using a uh, uh, spring boot so only back end team will okay. help us yeah sometimes we are running the only uh, run the back end java script mm -hmm. uh, spring boot so that time i was using yeah okay but uh, uh, you haven't worked on spring boot only have the knowledge of yes, it yes yes sir okay all right uh, uh, we can say that when uh, we need to uh, installing back end also no so that time i just mm -hmm. install we can just check and uh, that's it uh, okay back end changes if there is so i can do that only uh, will tell us our back end thing so they are in this function we can change mm -hmm. all right uh, uh, that's it from my side uh, so uh, do you have anything in of your mind you wanted to clarify with me before ending our discussion mm, no sir okay all right yeah uh, you will get uh, your feedback from the hr thank you thank you for your time okay sir bye bye thank take you. care bye